Hey guys, in this video, I killed Caster 69 times and this is what I got. Caster's dedicated legendary drop is the crossbow generator. And he also seems to drop way more legendaries than usual bosses, which seems to be the case. This boss is considered a side boss because you do not have to kill him to beat the main game. If you want access to this boss, complete the side mission, A Small Favor, and Tangle Drift to unlock this quest. This quest is actually pretty fun and I really recommend you guys play it. Farming this boss was pretty quick. It took me about one full minute to kill the boss and then the time it took to switch between chaos modes, which is the method that I use to farm this boss. The fight is fairly straightforward. You do enough damage to him, he goes into immunity phase, spawns pink balls, once you shoot the balls, he loses immunity, and repeat. Once you figure out his pattern, you'll be able to kill him fast and effectively. Of the 69 kills I did, he dropped 51 legendary items. Alrighty guys, so after farming this boss, I will show you what he dropped. The main thing being the crossbow, uh, the crossbow generators, because this is his dedicated drop. As you guys see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, five of these. He also dropped quite a few of the snake sticks, but those aren't his dedicated drops, at least as far as I know. But um, yeah, he dropped a lot of decent stuff. Now, I was doing this before the game updated and had the DLC come out, and then I finished it afterwards. So I was at max chaos level, but now I'm not anymore. So keep that in mind because everything has changed. But um, but yeah, I got an anti great bro. I haven't fired yet, so I'm gonna sell that bad boy. But but yeah, this this is kind of like the drops here. I will show you kind of the process of killing him. Whatever build you have, you're gonna spawn over there on that wall, typically every time because of that thing right there. Um, you can come over here, jump on this little bird cage. Once you do the quest, it'll show you all that stuff. Make sure you sprint. If you want to get over there, I keep forgetting to do that. So I want you to sprint, jump, climb up there. I am going to get my spell weaving up. Perfect. So he's going to come out of here. Now, he used to do a different moveset before the update, which was you can kind of almost like stun lock him because you can get him to go into his immunity phase before he does any movement. But I'm assuming they patched that because now he actually does attacks. But, so you just want to avoid these when they spawn. You want to jump over the little horse minions he spawns or whatever. You want to destroy these. All of them, because if you don't destroy them, they will give him health. And then you're just not being efficient. Just going to jump over that. Going to avoid that. He's very easy. Once you kind of get the group of it, he doesn't do a lot of damage either. So the big thing is just killing these things as fast as possible. So he comes out of his immunity fa phase. And then jump over that and then boom he's killed so that took about i'd say a minute maybe a little bit under a minute just depending on how many action he does and then look two legendaries right there you got one of those um he also drops quite a bit of cash you know just like a normal boss drops quite a bit of moon orb so farming this definitely is efficient especially if you're getting bored of the chaos chambers or something like that and then got one right there so perfect but yeah guys that's gonna be the video if you guys want to see another boss farm let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Peace!